I've been on a mission to find the perfect watch for when the going gets tough. And I think I found it. A watch is a very personal thing and most likely the most prolific piece of true everyday carry gear that exists. So I thought I would explain my thinking when it comes to what I wear most of the time, what I've been wearing the rest of the time and why I needed to make a change. Let's start with my long-term daily wear. And this is the Rolex Steel GMT Master II and has been my everyday watch now for many years. And for those who might think that this is an extravagant, perhaps status-driven and necessary expense, it's perhaps worth mentioning that I've had three GMTs over several years and they have all been sold or valued at substantially more than they originally cost and generated a financial gain in addition to the pleasure derived from owning and wearing each watch over several years and it's one reason why the GMT has become my watch of choice but it's not the only reason. It's worth pointing out that not all Rolex watches can claim to be an investment, but several models are in significant demand and this helps to explain why they are hard to get hold of and why resale values are so high. And as an example, this GMT here, which is no longer available with a plain black bezel, has roughly doubled in value over the few years I've owned it and is now worth upwards of £12,000. But there is more to this watch than just the price. It is beautifully made and it does feel special special having this miniature precision machine ticking away on my wrist. It is a classic design, works flawlessly and I think it looks great, although I appreciate looks can be very subjective. It's built like a tank and in an emergency it's claimed that a Rolex can be used as currency pretty much anywhere in the world. However, if I'm rattling down a rocky trail on a mountain bike or doing anything which might result in the watch being slammed into a rock, violently shaken, crushed, scraped, bashed or smashed, then it makes sense for me not to wear this one. So in short, I need a backup watch for when the going gets tough. Up until very recently, this has been my backup watch of choice and this is the Garmin Instinct Solo, which I should say is actually a great watch. And this incidentally is the original version. There's now a version two available with a higher definition display and a few more features. I went for this one for a couple of key reasons. One, because the monochrome display is clear to read in any light, particularly direct sunlight when color displays often become harder to read. And two, because not being a full color display seriously prolongs the battery life. And this thing can run for days without any to charge it. And that's important for me because I find regular charging can be a real problem for a watch that is only worn intermittently. And the battery life can be further extended when the watch is exposed to daylight because it has a solar charging feature in this model and extended further still if some of the more battery intensive features are switched off. But the challenge for me is that there is a learning curve with this watch as is the case with all highly featured wearables and because I don't wear it all the time it always takes time for me to work out even the basic functionality every time I put it on. And there's no chance at all of me remembering the more in-depth features which is more a reflection of me and how I use the watch than a criticism of the watch itself. Another option I considered when on my search was an Apple Watch, particularly the Rugged Ultra. And I'm already firmly entrenched in the Apple ecosystem, so that would have been an easy choice to make. But since I always have my phone with me, I don't really need all that functionality replicated on my wrist, further interrupting my day with notifications. I do of course appreciate that there's a lot of extra features that comes with such a capable wearable, but right now I'm not really that interested in being reminded every day of just how unfit I am. And I also don't really want something else in my setup that regularly needs charging. So that brings me nicely to what I did choose for my new backup heavy duty watch. And let's start by running through the shopping list of exactly what I was looking for. So it needs to be super rugged and capable of being worn in all conditions and on all activities. And therefore it also needs to be waterproof. It needs to be reliable and accurate and it needs to have a quartz movement as this copes much better with rough treatment than a mechanical one. I don't want any complexity. So anything that requires me to reread the manual every time I wear it is a big no. And it needs to have an easy read analog dial. And I 
I'll explain why that's important in a moment. No requirement to regularly recharge the watch is important. Why would you if you didn't have to? And it needs a date and also a second hand for basic timing purposes, although I don't find I need a chronograph. And then of course, I need to really like how it looks, which is pretty much down to personal preference. And this is the watch that ticked all the boxes. This is the Luminox Navy Seal 45 millimeter military diver's watch. And I mentioned in my list, the importance of an analog clock face over a digitally represented time. And that's because I find it gives a feel for time rather than just displaying the time. I think it has something to do with the fact that you can see where you are in the day with a clock face. And that's something you don't get with a simple digital time readout. And I much prefer that given the choice. It may also have something to do with the fact that there were no digital watches when I was growing up. So perhaps that makes a difference too. And I can also read a blurred analog watch face without my glasses on. So that is an additional benefit for me. So why the Luminox? Well, in addition to it meeting all my requirements, it does also add one really nice feature, one which requires no learning, no power and no button pressing, but is genuinely useful. And I'm referring to what Luminox call Luminox light technology. And it's what really sets their watches apart. I'm talking about tiny self-powered tritium glowing glass vials, 15 in this case, which appear on all the hour markers and the hands and also the bezel. And that means you can always read the time in total darkness at a glance. These glass vials emit light constantly for around 25 years without any input or intervention. In fact, this technology is the reason why the Luminox watch was put into service by the Navy SEALs, who in fact collaborated with Luminox on the design of this range with a core emphasis on time readability in all conditions. And Luminox have continued to supply the Navy SEALs for the last 30 years. As you can see, there are quite a few watches to choose from in the range. And I selected this particular one because I really love how it looks. It also has a robust metal case, which feels a little bit more premium than the Carbonox carbon composite case, which is the option for many in this range. Plus I like the sand colored dial and it also comes with two watch straps, one rugged rubber strap for outdoor use and a nylon strap, which is a bit more fashionable focused. The watch is water resistant to 200 meters with a one way rotating bezel, which is quick and simple for basic timing tasks. The glass used here is sapphire crystal with an anti-reflective coating and the screwing crown is protected. And the strap here is genuine rubber with a carbonox buckle and bezel. And the weight here is 106 grams on this rubber strap. The quartz movement is Swiss made and it has a battery life of around six years. So no charging needed by the bedside or in the backpack. It's also nice to see that this particular edition is in support of the Navy SEAL Foundation, which supports veterans and their families. And if I was at all worried about the reliability of the Luminox, it's reassuring to note that it's trusted by some seriously impressive organizations who I imagine are going to be much more picky than me. Luminox were founded in 1989, so relatively new in the watch world, and they are an American company, but their watches are Swiss made and incorporate a Swiss movement, which is no bad thing. And just in case you're wondering, and you probably weren't, Lumi is Latin for light and Nox for night. And as far as price goes, this cost me £595, which I think is a great price, all things considered. This watch does everything I need in a watch. And then when you factor in the tritium light technology, I can't honestly think of a better option. Although do let me know in the comments if you can. So there you have it. And if you've enjoyed this video, YouTube's algorithm thinks you're really going to like this one. So just click here if that looks interesting to you. But for now, thank you as always for watching. And I hope you can join me in the next one.